how's the family? It's going to be good if I can get home and say good night to my kids. My wife's not very happy with me. It's a, it was bad timing, this whole uh, this kid thing. Uh, I had a... I, She, she's been a sport, but thank you. I have a uh, six, yeah, six-week-old uh, boy. Thank you. And, and, uh, it's been very, uh, very nice. Just got home two days ago, and, and we really enjoyed trying to get back into the rhythm. It's, it's always a crazy weakness. I was saying to someone the week before the game, you're dealing with a lot of media and, and all the events and things. So you're still trying to focus on the game. All while getting back into the rhythm after being away for two months and home and getting back with the family. So it's always a crazy week. And, uh, the next Monday, things kind of just stop spinning and, and really get into your rhythm. But, uh, I know everybody at the club is excited. Uh, the, you know, the staff is excited. And I know you guys are excited as well. So it's going to be super. Any It's a, great, it's a great question. And the question was, is it difficult to transition from peer, friend, uh, teammate to coach? Yes, it is. I mean, uh, some, some people are like, thoughts, and you're not, no problem. There's, there's uncomfortable moments. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's not easy. Uh, but it's, you know, as long as I keep, and I tell myself this uh, daily, that, you know, the club is the most important thing. I make decisions that are going to help this club win games. And that's it. So as long as I keep that in, in, in the forefront, uh, I, I can't do anything wrong. I'm going to upset the apple cart, and some guys are going to not like me. Uh, we've got a very deep team. Uh, we're going to have guys sitting out on the bench uh, that aren't used to it. And uh, there'll be a lot of challenges because some of those guys, guess what? I, I'm going to, I, I, I was teammates on and I know their families. And, uh, there are uncomfortable times in that sense. But again, I keep in mind that whatever I do, however tough the decision is, if it's right for the club and I view it as something that's going to help us win games, I have to do it. And I've got plenty of people. I've got a wonderful assistant coach now with uh, Chad Ashton who helps me daily um, with a lot more experience than I have as a coach. I have certain things to offer. He has certain things to offer. So we have a good partnership. Uh, Pat Onstead gives me a lot of help uh, with his experience and a fresh perspective. So um, I, I got a great support system to help me with that. So if I get clouded even for a second with relationships, they make sure they put me in my place. What's the difference between last year and this year with the backline, you know, midfield, the forward? How long you got? <laughs> I told you I'd go home and kiss my uh, daughter. Who backline The back line. The back line, the back line uh, we're healthier. We got Mark Birch back. We got Wooler back. I think we're deeper. Uh, so we got two left backs that I, I view very capable. Dayan Djokovic, Perry Kitchen, Brasesco, deeper, younger, talented, hungrier. I think Dayan's made some big steps forward this year. Um, he seems uh, a changed man, is ready to make sure he, he leads this group and, and becomes what he should have been already. And that's one of the best defenders in this league, and I think this year you'll see that. Jed Zayner, who I know a lot of you were impressed with last year. Uh, Chris Corb, a guy we drafted, a young talent that could certainly see time. Ethan White from the local Maryland Turks, uh, a guy, another young, uh, promising center back. Midfield, I don't, probably don't need to talk much about the midfield, it's pretty deep. The toughest part I have with the midfield is who the hell am I playing with? Uh, you know, finding the right mix is not easy. Uh, we, we've experimented throughout the preseason, and, and we'll see. You know, I, I'm still not sure who's going to start in there. Uh, up top, Charlie, or Glenn, or Wolf, uh, and this young kid, Brett Schneider. So let's keep an eye on him. And he's very athletic, and he's a he's one for the future that's going to be pretty impressive. Uh, but we got some veteran leadership, and we got Charlie who. You know, 
he hits his stride, we could be pretty good. So, look, we're a work in progress. You know, let, let's. I, I don't want to hype this team up too much um, because we are a new team, and it takes time, especially for the offense. It's always the last to come to click. Defensively, we've done a lot of work. I mean, there's no excuse for us right away not to be a better defensive team, or a more hardworking team. Uh, a team that's more organized and a team that's more passionate on defense. Offensively, sometimes it clicks like that, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we've done a lot to work on it, uh, but again, it's an abstract thing. And when you put new people together, they really have to learn each other. And it's a foot away here, a couple inches away here from scoring goals. So that's what we're working on. Uh, so hopefully that will come sooner or later. Hopefully it comes this weekend. You never know. And we can always pray. Uh, one more. What's that? What's that? Tino will be a captain. Um, I, I will announce a captain uh, by the end of the week, um, possibly as soon as tomorrow. Um, you know, we've got some uh, a whole bunch of uh, guys coming in that that I want to lead this group. I've said from the beginning to these guys, I don't want a leader. I want leaders. I want five, six guys that hold everybody accountable in this group, rather than one guy leading this this team. Um, Inevitably, we will have a captain, and I know everybody's been waiting for it. People are really pumped at this captain thing. Steve Goff has been asking me every day, uh, three months, who the captain is. I told him I'd tell him Saturday. Uh, but, you know, we, we will have one, but uh, again, our focus is getting as many guys possible to hold themselves accountable out there and, and hold each other accountable so so we have a collective group um, you know a preaching group team because that's how we're going to be successful we don't have any one guy that's going to uh, make this team that great we got a team of good young talented guys that and collectively we could be a very good dangerous team how's Tino doing? Tino's great Tino's doing good uh, you know, he's, he's jumping at the bed, he's fit as can be, uh, you know, he's been great. You know, he, you know, you know I've, I've got one of my favorite guys, all-time favorite guys, so you know, I make no bones about that. Uh, so, you know, I'm sure you're going to see him soon. Yep. Who's taking penalties? I actually haven't even thought about it. So thank you. No way. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I, I'm sure uh, we, uh, we got a couple guys that I I wouldn't mind stepping up and taking a PK. So now that Jaime's going, it, it, I guess it's up for grabs, is it? Anything I want to see from you guys? The standard. I mean, you guys have. Uh, again, over my career, uh, I did want to say this when I was coming here thinking, I, I do want to thank you guys for the, the support you've given me uh, as a player. You know, I'll take the coach out. I know it's a lot different than the coaching ranks. You know, I'm, I'm three, three losing games away from you guys trying to cut my head off, which I understand. I am in a different spot now, and I, I take it with a grain of salt, but believe me, I'm, I'm prepared for it. But as a player, I do want to thank you guys for all the support you've given me. Uh, my memories as a player here are, are second to none. It, it, it still chokes me up when I see the banners that I, that was made for me. And, uh, it was just a remarkable experience, uh, career I've had, but uh, largely in part because you guys and the support you gave me. So I appreciate it very much. As far as what I want to see from you guys, butts in the seat, you know, voices as loud as possible. We need it. We need it this year. Uh, again, we're about energy. This young crew is going to be about energy, and we need your energy, uh, uh, but you always bring it. So, I, again, I expect the same from you guys. Spread the word. Ticket sales are pretty good. They need to be better. So get your friends out. You know what type of experience it is. It's a, once, once you get them there, they love it. They fall in love with this sport. They fall in love with you guys, and they're going to fall in love with this team. So thanks a lot.
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Quick question. Is it Benny's Army or Olsen's Army? Benny. I didn't make it up. You guys, you guys, you guys choose. Benny's, Ar Benny's Army or Ben's Army? Or Olsen's Army. Ben's Army. Ben's Army. Ben's Army. You guys figure out. You guys are the ones who know. Benny's guys, I'm going to get home.